it's another day another room so welcome to fm tech and subscribe so that it motivates me to make more videos for you guys today we have the descendant os built installed on our redmi note 9 pro as you can see it comes with a new quick setting style which has been on descendant os it's very different from the android 12 stock quick setting styles as it has more rows and it's square in shape and it provides more function and looks in my opinion it also comes with many bug fixes improvements as well as new features as you can see in the what's new app it, the what's new app is also useful so that it notifies us about the new updates the rom comes with the lineage os kernel by default which is better than the, the last lineage os kernel the rom also has a few party tricks of its own which is just a magic which has a few useful gestures when we pick up the phone the phone can mute the ringtone and we can also mute the ringtone by flipping the phone upside down i have enabled both of these gestures as i find it very useful you guys can also try and enable it if you like now let's go into the digital health app and as you can see it's a nicely designed app with a nice animation on top Hats off to the designers for designing the Descendant OS system apps which look so cool. This is just like the digital health app which has screen on time and unlock numbers. It also has reminders for going into sleep and if you use your phone after bedtime. Now let's go into the usual practices while reviewing a custom app. Let's check the DRM info as well as safety net status. As we check the safety net test status, we can see it passes by default with no magic modules needed. So say hi to banking apps. Now let's check DRM info. The DRM info is L1 so that you can enjoy Netflix and other media streaming apps. Now let's check out the default camera. The default camera is Parrot's Gcam 8.4. It has EIS working but it's not as useful because it does not have the lens switch option. Now let's go into the customization tab of Descendant OS. It's named as Customization Accessibility Dashboard and you have to enable it from the Accessibility menu. It doesn't come by default, you should enable it via the Accessibility menu in Android. I would say it's a nicely designed app as the animations are just awesome and these original works look so awesome in a world of kangaroo dorms. As you can see you get many clock options such as Oxygen OS, Cupertino, Sony and you can even change if it's double clock or single clock. You also have an option to make it centered or left aligned. There is also the usual monitor personalization with additions from Descendant. You can pick the accent color from the wallpaper as well, which is great. I have never seen on this any ROM other than OEM ROMs. Don't worry, as for the quick setting styles, you get customizations as well. You can toggle between the Descendant quick settings or the Android 12 usual ones and you can enable if it's the compact tiles or the non compact ones you can also enable only notifications option which will show the notifications panel when we swipe once you also get the battery estimate toggle as well you can also customize the lock screen left and right shortcuts for your liking you also get ambient lights when the screen is off. It will light up with an animation for a notification which is very really nice. This also I haven't seen in any ROMs. These are all goodies from Descendant OS. This is an exclusive experience for Descendant OS users as it only comes in official builds as the source is private. So you can enjoy the exclusive features for free from Descendant. I'd recommend anyone to install this ROM if for a daily driver. 
now as for the gestures you get every gestures that you will ever need like double tap to wake double tap to sleep and quick tap gestures and swipe the screenshot i am running out of words to say about this rom and as for security you get fingerprint unlock pin password and face unlock added as well you also get the usual android 12 stuff such as the themed icons and you also get an option to toggle the 24 hour pixel like battery graph as for the battery icons customizations you get every customizations like the text icon only for battery icon and the circle icon for battery icon and the usual portrait battery icon these are the most commonly used battery icons so it's there in this row now on to the topic of battery life it lasts more than a day while using it normally and it will give you 10 hours of screen on time if you are a normal user but if you are a heavy user it would give 8 hours of screen on time as you can see my battery stats it gave me 7 hours of screen on time with 30 percentage left so i request you guys to subscribe and like and comment thank you